Have you ever wondered what problems you might encounter after having sex? Well, you're not alone. Many of us are aware of the immediate risks associated with intercourse, but few consider the potential issues that can arise afterwards. Today, we're delving into this less explored territory, uncovering 10 of the most common post-coital problems. From the least to the most common, we'll shed light on the challenges that can occur. So, buckle up for an informative journey. Stay tuned as we unravel these facts one by one. Starting off at number 10, unusual discharge. It's quite common to experience a slight change in discharge after sexual intercourse, but if it persists and is accompanied by an unusual smell or color, it might be a sign of an infection or a sexually transmitted disease. It's crucial to listen to your body and seek medical assistance if you notice any persistent changes. Moving to number nine, pain during urination. This can be quite alarming, but it's often a symptom of a urinary tract infection. This usually occurs when bacteria enters the urinary tract during intercourse. Drinking plenty of fluids and urinating soon after sex can help prevent this problem. However, if the pain persists, it's time to consult a doctor. Finally, at number eight, unexpected bleeding. While light spotting can be normal, especially after vigorous activity, heavy or consistent bleeding is a cause for concern. It could be a sign of injury or a gynecological condition. If you experience this, don't hesitate to seek medical help. Moving on to the next set of problems. At number seven, we have persistent headaches. Now this may surprise you, but some individuals experience headaches after intimacy. This could be due to a sudden increase in blood pressure or tension in the muscles. If these headaches persist, don't ignore them. A medical consultation might be in order to rule out any underlying conditions. Moving on to number six, allergic reactions. Yes, you heard it right. Some people can have allergic reactions to certain elements involved in the act, like latex or even certain body fluids. Signs can range from mild itching to severe rashes. If you suspect an allergic reaction, it's crucial to identify the cause and seek medical advice promptly. And at number five, we find anxiety or depression. Intimacy is deeply tied to our mental and emotional health. If you're feeling persistent anxiety or depression after intimacy, it's essential to talk to a mental health professional. Remember, it's okay to seek help. Let's dive into the top four problems. Number four on our list is pain during sex. This discomfort can be due to a variety of reasons, from physical conditions like endometriosis to psychological factors like anxiety. If you frequently experience pain during intercourse, don't be shy to discuss it with your doctor. They can help identify the root cause and suggest appropriate treatments. Moving on to number three, changes in menstrual cycle. Sex can sometimes cause changes in your cycle, especially if it's unprotected. It's normal for periods to vary a bit, but significant changes like missed periods or unusually heavy bleeding should be investigated. Make sure to consult with a healthcare professional if you notice such alterations. Lastly, at number two, we have sexually transmitted infections. These are diseases that are passed from one person to another through sexual contact. They're a serious concern and it's crucial to use protection to reduce your risk. If you suspect you may have contracted an STI, seek medical help immediately. And now, the most common problem after having sex is, topping our list at number one is pregnancy. Yes, the most common and perhaps the most life-altering consequence of sexual intercourse. It's a natural process, but can be a problem if it's unintended or if it happens at an inappropriate time. Pregnancy can occur due to unprotected sex or contraceptive failure. Common signs include a missed period, nausea, and fatigue. It's important to take a pregnancy test if you suspect you might be pregnant, and if it's positive, seek prenatal care as soon as possible. But let's not forget, pregnancy isn't the only issue related to sexual activity. We've discussed nine others today, ranging from sexually transmitted infections to psychological distress. Each of these issues can cause significant discomfort or harm. So what's the takeaway from all this? It's simple, be safe and responsible. Use contraceptives, get regular checkups, and communicate openly with your partner. Remember, sex is a normal part of life, but it does come with risks. And if you ever find yourself facing any of these problems, don't hesitate to seek medical help. Keeping quiet or ignoring symptoms can lead to more serious complications. Our bodies are complex and sometimes they throw us curveballs. But with knowledge, precaution, and timely medical intervention, we can navigate these challenges and maintain our health. 
Remember, if you encounter any of these problems, it's always best to seek medical advice. Stay safe and thanks for watching.